Okay, so today um, we are going to kind of go back to objective 2.1 to be able to graph a quadratic function, function using key features. Um, so, so far we have talked about how to graph something with the consecutive odd numbers pattern. Uh, we've talked about how to graph um, quadratics with symmetry. We've talked about how to graph quadratics if you are given all the key features. Um, and now we're going to talk about if I am just given some function, how I can find the vertex and the zeros, and then graph it that way. So if I take a look um, at this one here, it says to graph the function f of x equals x minus 5 um, squared minus 4. So first it asks me to find the vertex. So this is in vertex form, very easy to identify that the vertex of this is going to be 5, negative 4. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plot 5, negative 4. So I go over to 5, I go down to negative 4. It's a little harder to see where exactly that is on this, but it's right there. So our vertex is 5, negative 4. Um, and now to find our zeros. So we remember uh, if we want to find our zeros, that means we're finding our x-intercepts. And we can find our x-intercepts by setting y equal to 0. So we have 0 equals x minus 5 squared minus 4. All right, um, and so we should notice that when we solved things like this, we used um, inverse operations, including taking the square root. So first, I'm just going to add 4 to both sides. And so I'm going to get 4 is equal to x minus 5 squared. And now, um, in order to get rid of that square, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and move it over here, but I'm going to get the square root of 4 is plus or minus 2 equals x minus 5. So that means I have x minus 5 equals 2, or I have x minus 5 equals negative 2. This is going to give me a 0 at, I add 5 to both sides, this is going to give me a 0 at 3, and this is going to give me a 0 at 7. Okay, so I go over and I'm going to put a y or an x intercept at 3. I'm going to put an x, x intercept at 7. And you should notice that these are symmetric, right? So this is 1, 2 away from where the axis of symmetry is, and this is 1, 2 away from the axis of symmetry. Okay, that is not a coincidence. So now I can go ahead and I can sketch my parabola that starts at my vertex, goes through that x intercept, and goes through this x intercept. Okay, so here we are, we found our vertex, we found our zeros, and then we just draw our quadratic from there. So let's take a, a look at the next one. So the next one has us find um, the vertex, but this is in standard form. So we remember, when we want to find the x coordinate of the vertex in standard form, we do negative whatever b is over 2 times whatever a is. So b in this case is 10. So we're going to put 10 in there, and then a in this case is 1, we're going to put 1 in there. So I'm going to get negative 10 over 2, which is negative 5. And now in order to find the y coordinate of my vertex, um, I'm just going to plug this in for x. So I'm going to plug it in for the two x values that are here. And when I do that, um, I'm going to get negative 1. So you're welcome to spend the time to do that, but... Um, so, so my vertex is negative 5, negative 1, so I go over to negative 5, I go down to negative 1. Alright, so I plotted my vertex, and now I want to find my zeros. So again, when I want to find my zeros or my x-intercepts, I'm going to make y equal to 0, because all the y-coordinates along the x-axis are 0. So we have 0 is equal to x squared plus 10x plus 24. So you should realize that when we have something like this, um, we have this trinomial here, we are going to try to factor. So when I factor, I'm going to say what multiplies to be 24 and adds to be 10. And we should be able to see that the numbers that do that are 4 and 6. So I'm going to rewrite this as two binomials, so x plus 4 times x plus 6. 
And now using the zero product property is very, very important that I am going to set these equal to zero. If we didn't set them equal to zero, each one of these factors, we would have zeros at four and six, and that would be over here. So at four and at six, and we should recognize that that does not make any sense, right? Because it needs to be around my vertex. And I'm gonna set these, both of these factors equal to zero, and I get that x is negative four, negative six. So I go over to negative four, I'm gonna plot my zeros right on that x-intercept, or on the x-axis there, and now I'm able to sketch what my quadratic looks like. So obviously this is a sketch, right? Um, if we wanted to be more accurate, we could figure out what these points are here so we can see kind of how wide or how narrow it is. So it's a sketch, it's imperfect, but um, we are able to find the vertex and the zeros and then just sketch our parabola.